Hey traders, uh, quick, hopefully four minute note about, um, again, why I like to trade levels versus ticks, because the ticks will cause me to make mistakes, emotional mistakes for all human. Um, we're looking at the ES, but this is not the point of the video. It's what happened today. Uh, today is the 21st of uh, February, and uh, the market had a an overnight pop and then a complete letdown. <clears throat> and so it's stabilized since the uh, worst of the day because we had a slew of headlines, regardless of what it is. Uh, it's still inside the box that I drew recently just to say, okay, this could be the range for the next uh, few hours, and it's still inside of the box. But the point is to... Uh, eliminate emotions as much as possible and I have a visual for that early in the day I was chatting with friends uh, actually yesterday I may have done a video on that actually and uh, there was uh, two there were two tests this is the VXXB which is a derivative of fear the VIX and we had two tests one here and one here uh, at a certain level whatever that level is and this one was weaker than that one so that determined how the day closed right so they got better as time went on and then this and overnight we had the spike in the in the uh, indices which coincides with the low in fear correct so that was the 31 print in vxxb then this morning we opened kind of like a little bit flattish red and then headlines came out bad economic news rhetoric on the news every expert they bring on cnbc is like oh my gosh and then you see a fear spike you start buying calls in the vxxb or you start selling out of your positions or buying puts in the spy because you're emotionally driven to do so you see something going against you and you want to protect it or the the fomo fear fear of missing out of a spike in the vix you want to grab it so that's reacting to emotions. So if I if if my chart stop started here, I would react to these big green candles. Oh my gosh, what am I missing? But knowing this and that tells me, you know what? We are at that point. Let's see what happens. By the way, there are tons of other levels until we get to here, but this this is an easy visual. So then what actually happened? So I, I was chatting with friends and I said, you know what, this is not a starting to short point. This is a point where it's a pivot that has failed twice yesterday on fear. So let's see what fear does here because it wasn't outrageous news. So we shall see. And this is what actually happened. This is the same chart with more ticks since then. So this is that candle right here. And then what happened? Look, like a roof, right? This was the test from yesterday. Twice failed. This test is bigger than this one, but still, you know, weaker than that one. And look what happened. It failed and then failed that support too. So this was the value area low of uh, the, the VIX the, today, not the VIX, the VXXB. So this is where bulls and bears agree it's fair. It went above it. It got rejected quickly and that was below it and set a new low, lower than that 31. Okay, so now the onus is on the bears to say you know what this fall was not correct let's get back to it so this presents an opportunity next time they come to here and if they break out of it then they can really scare the bulls right the bears but one level at a time there are plenty to, to, to slice through on the way back up now here's the important thing that actually nuance addition so the lesson is done this is it this is a perfect visual to why i don't trade bars unless they are at levels that are meaningful so um, failed, 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 and look what happened. And now how come we have a new low from the overnight when the S&P is nowhere near the high overnight? We had a high of whatever, 27.98, when we are still at 18 points away from that, meaning the fear went away and then some, yet the exuberance is not there yet. So that should change by the time we close or by tomorrow morning, either the ES spikes, the S&P spikes, or fear will come back because I don't, I don't, or opens a trap door under fear for everything, everybody forget about it. So this is kind of a weird situation where all the fear that happened since the overnight high in the S&P is gone and then some, but the S&P is nowhere near the high. So something strange about that soon to be watched. But again, the lesson here is trade levels, not ticks.